An educational uproar has taken root throughout Ohio. Like many things that get done in Columbus, it's puzzling where this came from. It's honestly going to be a mess. Public schools like Lakota, Mason, and Forest Hills are upset over the expansion of Ed Choice. The scholarship program allows students in public schools deemed underperforming to attend private schools. A chunk of that private tuition comes from dollars pulled from the public school district. But what this really comes down to is taking public dollars and fun funneling them to the private sector, private schools. And so um, there's a lot of uh, angst about that, rightfully so. One thing that baffles public schools is the new state grading method. Districts traditionally seen as top performers now face unexpected results. Lakota, for example, now has eight schools ranked as underperforming, including Endeavor Elementary. Miller says that's ironic since Endeavor recently received the state's Momentum Award for exceeding expectations in student growth. I can tell you of the eight, zero of them are uh, failing or underperforming. It's just the metrics that the state's using on the report card, which changes every year. Other local schools now considered failing include Indian Hill Middle and Mason's Early Childhood Center. That means students in those typically sought after schools could get a private education partially paid for by tax dollars. Middle and upper income families are getting their private school education paid for from local taxes. Uh, they're mad. They want better. And State Representative Tom Brinkman supports the expansion of Ed Choice, though he says changes might need to be made to the way schools are graded. Whatever happens, Brinkman says public schools should value the competition. From Indian Hill and Forest Hills and Mason, the high quality schools are screaming and yelling because they, they're wanting better. But competition is good, and we need to keep on adding that into, into the recipe of driving our public education to do better. For us, the advantage is uh, just being able to serve students. Schools that stand to benefit include charter and parochial schools like Bishop Fenwick in Butler County. Potential for more students uh, coming through education uh, through the Ed Choice program uh, is likely. Fenwick's principal, Blaine Collison, knows the Ed Choice funding formula is controversial, but he says vouchers give parents an option. I think it's really important for the families if they're feeling that their public school district is not performing, if they're looking for a different kind of a culture um, that affords those families that opportunity. Public school leaders I talk to say they're fine with competition as long as the playing field is fair. I think we need to press pause and uh, get it right. <laughs> Now, if more changes to Ed Choice are in the works, they need to happen quickly because students in underperforming schools in Ohio can start to apply to attend a private school on the first day of February. Reporting live, Todd Dykes, WWT News 5. All right, Todd.